In this video, I'll be showing you how to create an animated video template with text-to-speech narration using Modec. We'll first build our simple template in After Effects, and then bring it into the Modec online editor to customize it and add our text-to-speech narration. Once done, you'll have a template that automatically generates speech from your text and which can be edited online by anyone you invite. First, let's create our After Effects template. To do this, we'll need to open a new After Effects project and add a text layer to the center of our comp. Next, we'll add an audio layer to our comp. This is our placeholder audio that will eventually be replaced by a text-to-speech voice. Let's also place an image in the comp that will be behind the text. We'll introduce this image with a wipe animation to add some visual interest. Now we'll turn this into a Mogurt file that we can import into the Modec editor. To do this, we need to set up which properties will be editable online by dragging them into the Essential Graphics panel. Let's start with the source text property of our text layer. We'll name this property Main Text. Next, we'll add our audio layer into Essential Graphics to make it replaceable online. It will need to be pre-comped if it's just audio, as After Effects doesn't allow us to add layers that are only audio to Essential Graphics. We'll name this Audio. Finally, we'll drag the image layer into Essential Graphics and name it Background. Now we want to make sure that the duration of our comp is always set to the duration of the audio layer, even after the audio layer has been replaced by text-to-speech. To do this, we'll use a Modec command. These are Modec-specific features that we can add to our Mogurts by adding comments or properties to the Essential Graphics panel and putting M-O-D-K dash in front of the property name. In this case, we'll use the set duration command. To do this, we'll first add a slider control to any layer in our comp. Then, we'll add an expression to this slider control that sets the value of the slider to the duration of the audio layer's source media. Finally, we'll add this slider to the Essential Graphics panel and name it MODK dash set duration. The value of this slider will now determine the duration of our comp, and since the value is driven by the audio layer duration, our final comp will always be set to the duration of the audio layer. Also, since our Mogurt starts with a wipe animation, we want to make sure this wipe happens on top of any previous Mogurts if this is placed in a sequence. To do this, we can use the overlap command by adding a comment to Essential Graphics, name it MODK dash overlap, then enter a number of frames in the comment value. This is how many frames this Mogurt will overlap onto the previous Mogurt in the sequence. Now that we have our essential properties ready, we'll need to make sure the Modec app is installed, then export our Mogurt file from the Essential Graphics panel into a new folder in our Modec Sync folder. This will make the template available to edit in the Modec online editor. To edit our template in the online editor, we'll go to modec.io and click Create New Edit. Then, we'll drag our Mogurt onto the timeline and can now adjust the editable properties to make our video. First, we'll type the text we want to use into the main text input. Next, we'll select the audio property and click the Generate Speech button. Here, we'll add the same text we used in the main text input and select a voice for the text-to-speech narration. The voice you're hearing now is an example of one of the voices available on the platform. There are many voices to choose from, including voices from TikTok, such as this recognizable voice, and many other high-quality voices, like mine. Lastly, let's add an image to replace the background. We can add our Mogurt to the timeline multiple times to create a sequence of titles. Note that, just like any other property in your template, the text used for generating speech can also be driven by data from a spreadsheet or online API. When we're happy with our edit, we can press the Render button to have the desktop app render our video. Once the render is complete, we'll be able to view the final video in the editor as well as receive it in our email inbox. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Some more text to be spoken. For more detailed information about how to use Modec, be sure to take a look at the documentation found at modec.io/docs.